Hello and welcome back to This Week at the Chamber, giving you the top four things that you need to know going into this week here in Harrison. Amy, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We've got Lloyd behind the camera making us look good, doing all the fancy things with the buttons. And let's talk about what's happening this week. Sure. Okay. Well, today we're doing a lot of preparation. Yes. And then tomorrow I'll be on the road, but we'll be doing more preparation from the road. I'm going to the 40 Under 40s luncheon with Arkansas Business. And I've got some friends that are being recognized. It's just good for Harrison to be there. But also Dr. Brent Rawson from NARMC from Harrison is being recognized. So congratulations to Dr. Rawson and the North Arkansas Regional Medical Center team. I know you're proud of them. You've made multiple posts on Facebook. The event is tomorrow, Tuesday at lunch. And so I'm sure there'll be a whole crew of us from Harrison that'll be there awesome. celebrating. Very good. Yeah. Well, um, that's just the beginning of the week. That's lunch on Tuesday, lunch on Wednesday. Yeah, lunch on Wednesday. We're going to have our June 12th workforce luncheon. And mm -hmm. we're going to be um, here in the Signature Tower. We're going to meet with some educators and some business folk that might like to join us. You could still get your ticket if you give us a call. Um, the luncheon tickets are $25 each, and that includes your lunch. And that includes your lunch. They, this is part of a larger day, right? So we'll go to the third topic mm -hmm. and we'll hit both here. Sure. Uh, larger day is these 40 or so educators are going to go through a summit day where they're going to tour Wabash in the morning and West Truck after lunch and Ozark trailer sales after that, looking and talking about how the career and technical education pieces that are in the workforce might cross over into the classroom, right? And so they're, it's, it's both that, it's analyzing that, but it's also developing relationships with our businesses that like to go in and hire students that like to go into the classroom and talk about the things that are important in the classroom that mm -hmm. translate to the business world. And so we think that we're at our best as a chamber or as a community when we're gathering around topics of interest sure. that are important to us. And workforce has been one of those for multiple years now. And so that day for the educators is all day, mm -hmm. but when they break for lunch, it'll be at our state of workforce luncheon that Amy's talking about. Yes. We'll have a panelist with Dr. Shelley Mencassi from North Arkansas College. She's the AVP of Workforce and Career Initiatives. And we also have one of the vice presidents from Clark Contractors. They're building the Robotics Center at North Ark, and he's uh, Stephen Lane, he's, that's his name. And Stephen's gonna be joining us on the panel discussion, as well as Sammy Cribbs Robertson from North Arkansas Regional Medical Center, the president and CEO there, talking about healthcare and workforce. And then Jason Patience, who is both our board chair, also the plant manager at Wabash, also the presenting sponsor of all of our workforce initiatives. But Jason's been a tremendous ally and resource for our educators and for our chamber. And so happy to have him on the on the panel as well. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. I think it'll be I think it'll be good food. I think it'll be good discussion. Yes. But most importantly, what we want people to do is connect with these educators. So we're going to try to we're going to try to uh, mix them up out through the front eight or nine tables or so, and that way we can have intentional conversation yes. at those tables where businesses are talking to education. Because at the end of the day, that's our goal. Yes. I mean, it's nice that we're that we're going to bring people together and have a good conversation on the stage. But if we don't have the conversations and introduce people to new people, then we've missed. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. We're not going to miss. Anyway, so that's happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're on to the last one. We've got community maps. Yes. We are really proud of our new maps. Um, they just came out. I think we've had them the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. And we um, there were some great opportunities for local businesses to advertise in there. And so we'd like to say thank you for that. Um, we'll be reprinting them again in a couple of years. And so, um, yeah, we're in a contract to where every couple of years we'll get some new maps. Yep, they'll get a refresh. And there's, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of things in here. There's a city map on one side and a county map on the other. And a nice resource for people that are thinking about moving to Harrison. So here's the county map. I'm gonna undo this whole yes. thing. One of y'all are gonna have to help me fold it back up. I can do it. Okay, good. That's the kind of confidence I like. And then the city map here. So you see, I mean, it's it's a city map. You've seen these before. Mm -hmm. But um, watch this. We'll get that after we 
stop the stream. Uh, <laughs> but a great resource for people that are thinking yes. about moving here. You'll start seeing these in lobbies or in restaurants or at the Arkansas Welcome Center where people are stopping and want to learn more about Arkansas, want to learn more about Harrison. They're using these maps. Yes. And we are thankful, as Amy said, for our businesses that help us bring this to fruition and get your copy by finding us at the Welcome Center. Sure. Find us here at the Chamber Lobby mm -hmm. at associated businesses all over town. You're going to start seeing these. So uh, please use it. That's a good resource. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big week and uh, nice summer weather over the weekend for sure. So how about thanks for watching? Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Absolutely. <laughs>